Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today uh, we are out in the field and I thought it might be good to show you kind of how I pack all of my quad stuff. Uh, one, so that you can maybe get some ideas from, uh, from what I'm doing and two, uh, so that I can just kind of document how I pack my stuff now and uh, so I can kind of see, see any changes that I make as I progress. So, uh, this is the bag that I carried in right now, and what I've got here, basically what I did is, uh, since I'm kind of cheap and uh, I didn't want to buy an actual quad bag, like one of those um, bags that you can buy for quadcopters, <laughs> different brands. Um, so what I have here is just a Jansport uh, Odyssey 39 liter bag, which I actually really love, and it has a pretty large compartment, and so what I did, is uh, it's not perfect, but what I did is I made this kind of prototype sort of foam board insert that goes in here, and I don't remember the dimensions exactly. If I think to, I will annotate them on the screen. Um, but it's basically I just made it as big as I could to fit inside the backpack. Um, so in here, I'll bring you around here and move the mic here like this okay cool so in here we have I made this lid and also just notice right here that it slopes down a little bit the lid does and that is so that it, it's way easier to actually slide into the backpack especially if you have other stuff in the in the other pouches oh wow that's a spider in there there's a lot of spiders around here um, and so ta -da! Um, so this is all basically just I, I made this box specifically to fit the stuff the gear that I have right now so again like I said um, definitely not super ideal but it's nice to at least have everything in place and I can put it in a backpack and carry it around so uh, nothing too special going on but what I have is it will fit one full-size or one five-inch quadcopter this is the budget basher uh, with with propellers on which is nice, but not with like a GoPro mount though. That's one thing that I, I, it does not fit um, And then I've got my radio here and now that I have this gimbal cover I can put it face down on the bottom here and then you can see I made this little uh, These little you know spots to hold the radio So the nice thing about this is that it does it does protect everything and pretty much keeps it in its place right here I've got little Ziploc bags of like tools and stuff. This is a great little tool. It's like a multi, multi head tool that uh, that I got from Harbor Freight, and for like I don't know six bucks or something. It comes with a ton of different tips. It's really great. I've got my prop changing stuff in there, uh, SD card uh, things, battery reader, that sort of stuff. Um, and then that's the other nice thing I like about having a lid like this is I can set the lid down and then put stuff on the lid um, as to, to kind of to keep it off the ground and not lose anything and then so this little side pocket I can put like either like a three inch quadcopter or just this stuff like like this um, and then just these other slots I kind of custom fit for well I designed it so that it would fit these batteries here so you can fit batteries like along the sides or down here propellers up here spare propellers just kind of along this slot. I guess you could just put more batteries, but the thing is, is if you put batteries all on this one side, then one side of your backpack is really heavy. So it's really better to put batteries like also, well, towards the bottom, where the bottom of the backpack is going to be, and then also um, like on both sides would probably be ideal. And then I got my gigantic goggles here, which these, are, this is something I'm really looking forward to upgrading, just because once, if I get like some, uh, you know, Amway commanders or anything that's you know the uh, the the you know kind of glasses style the non box goggle you know the fat shark style type of goggles it'll save so much room and uh, probably weight maybe not so much in the weight since this is just lightweight foam but save so much room it'd be a lot easier than having this whole thing also these goggles I did chop off the the uh, this, this little like hook or little horn thing that was on here that kind of fits to your forehead but I don't need that so I just chopped it off and, it now, and now it'll fit in this box so this is like the little goggle compartment and um, this is this is made out of waterproof 
flight test foam board and then I have generously generously uh, let me get it brighter here for you I have generously taped it on the edges as well as hot glued you know the the parts where the where the uh, foam joins to each other we got spare transmitter batteries and and stuff and then here you can fit like a lanyard or sometimes if I have a three inch I like to put my little three inch batteries right there um, so yeah it, it works okay it's uh, it's not amazing but you know it it costs like two dollars I guess for the foam and everything so it kind of works okay and it's just kind of it, it is kind of neat that you could kind of make your own to custom fit the stuff that you have so that way you know if you really you know maybe maybe you want something that fits two quadcopters you know two five inch quadcopters or a certain number of batteries or a certain type of batteries or whatever then you can kind of do that so that's kind of what I've done here and it works out okay it's not amazing uh, you can see on the notice on the top here that I did curve this well here it's less curved and it still works okay but I kind of curved it more right here and so it's kind of has like a tombstone tombstone kind of shape to it um, and that works well to basically fit the bag so that the zippers can zip over this because you know this bag is not a square you know square bag so it helps if these are not square edges as well and then again tapering this down so that it is uh, like not as tall on the bottom it really helps a lot to slide it back into the bag the problem that I run into probably the two some of the well a few big problems with this is just that um, well it is bulky and so it does like it you know it takes up a set amount of space so if you're if you have less stuff in here you can't compress it and save space in your backpack and then the other thing is like if this is in my backpack I have to slide you know slide the whole thing out take the top off just if I want to you know add one small thing into the box so not not the easiest to get into but uh, but definitely it's it definitely beats like having every everything just kind of floating around in the backpack you know barring a uh, a specialized kind of camera bag or quadcopter backpack so anyway that is that's pretty much all I got for you I just wanted to show you that and maybe it'll give you some ideas if you want to make your own if you have any questions or comments about this leave them uh, in the space provided below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.